Rico a hammer. Holding court. No. <laughs> no, it's just, if you know, life's too short, and it's like, you know, I want to see everybody have a beautiful time. You know what I mean? I, I'm tired of the company. It's like when I, uh, when I first started on oh, how much the hell I tells you a bunch of shit that is so far, or got you buying a bunch of shit you don't even need. Like, it's gonna make money. I understand that, and you still can't because there are places for GFO or or carbon. You know, I use carbon every once in a great blue moon. You know, and that's just for chemical warfare. See, now if I ran all SPS three tank without any LPS or softies, fuck carbon. I don't need it. What I need it for is nothing going in here unless I physically put something in there. You see what I'm saying? GFO. GFO is a band aid. GFO is a case of emergency because you ain't figured out how to fucking export your shit. When I first started, I got a big thing of GFO. I got a big gigantic thing of carbon. Three days later, he goes, You only need that for emergencies. I haven't touched it since. That's what I'm saying. I'm just like, Take it, man. Take more than I know what to do with. That's what I'm telling you. What's up, Respar? What's going on, brother? How are you, man? What's going on? Good to see you, man. How's it going? Steve. How you doing, Steve? Nice to meet you. All right, man. They're always giving me different stuff. I'm just always using it up and then using something different. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how much you feed your system as long as you have it set up where nutrients import and export are like this or your exports like this. It can never be export under yeah, what your import yeah. is. So it's a balancing act. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's it. understanding how to balance your whole system to make it work. Mm -hmm. And once you figure that out and get that, and you know how to get all the elements that the corals actually need and utilize it, you'll have a system like mine. Like for real. Like I wish I had money to burn. Because you think, which one call it? Hell, <laughs> or which one call it with a 20,000 gallon in the house? It would be decked out with all SPS in mind. Yeah, that's not that's, 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 And that whole water change, that's another setup for all the reefers that don't know no better. Teach you about all the water change, water change. I'll get the water change is good for one thing. It's when you got something really off balance to, to reset your system and to get it back in balance. And then depending on how much you water you Oh, let me show you. Look, look, it's fire. It's just a move. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, <laughs> that's going to fix everything. Sometimes. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the water change will fix it. It's going to reset. You just got to do enough. You should be able to. Can I help you? How many giants does it take to raise a chandelier? <laughs> Yeah, Good job, it, Billy. Hey, Billy, give me a thumbs up, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put a video. You guys never bring coolers. Just bring a cooler with you everywhere you go. <laughs> you never know. But just put cool. You know, put beers or frags in it, whatever. <laughs> 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 you can't transport body parts. In the <laughs> <laughs> um, so these uh, were given to us by. Daniel, John, Ego Tech. Ego Tech, So Ego Tech donated. Ryan, Ryan from Ego Tech. Oh, wow. Can you tell him what? So if he's in trouble, he stole him. Oh. I'm only kidding. Frag gloves, and they actually stack into the frag rack. Yeah, they're really neat. Cool. If you lay them flat, they'll actually fit in the racks, and they lock in. Really so you can actually put them, like say, in the middle of where you want the frags to grow, and you can actually. Elevate your area and the, the core will grow right above it and oh, will nice. take over, so it's kind of cool. And then this is uh, the glue that everybody talks about mm -hmm. the gel, nice. so that everybody's nice. getting that. Nice, and I have everybody's shirt. This one is Scott's, 
If it's too Thank cheap, you. let me know. I got other ones. So who's a large? I got a couple larges. Who wants a I'll large? I'll take a large. There you go. Thank you. I have, I have, I do. You got a 3X? You got a 3X? A special edition. I don't know if I got three, but I got three. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of three XLs down here. Okay, let me go. Hey! We didn't get off the Oompa Loompa farm. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> what no, what was good? No, what was good at uh, Reefer Palooza? Uh, <laughs> when <laughs> all of us took a picture, Sean was about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. 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 <laughs> and we called him for that. <laughs> they were missing Steve. In that photo. Yeah, we were. Steve didn't make it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Steve. Floor at your house. <laughs> Technically, right now, yes, we use our basement floor of our house. So, it is built into our house at the moment, but we are looking for a location pretty soon. So, the more people that join on and the more people that give us support, the faster we can do that. So, there's a GoFundMe campaign. If everyone wants to donate $50,000, <laughs> 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 so promise we use the money for fish. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, dude, we love this hobby. Look at all you guys that showed up. I'm really proud of you guys for making the distance. I mean, Rico's probably the furthest. He wins an award for driving. He does win an award. So he's gonna go home. He's gonna go home with something nice. Here's his award. Here's his award. <laughs> Here's his award. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, you guys find you guys really help motivate me to keep doing this. Um, I can't tell you. Need sleep. Need sleep. Well, I mean, we're, in terms of the core, we're very. Sell fish, but we really rather sell fish local. Um, we're not going to promote selling fish too far because um, it's a little more complicated. But we will have invertebrates that we'll sell. Uh, we just got all those frag tanks in the back. They're going to be holding cleaner shrimp. Uh, we will have wrasses, pipe fish, um, all kinds of crabs, snails, and we will be uh, shipping those anywhere in the U.S. So. Um, that'll be in conjunction with the coral. So that's going to be phase two of our business, and then phase three is going to be the product line. So if you uh, stick with us, we are growing, and this is about our third or fourth year, um, and really our first year of really trying to promote ourselves. So new company, and we hope you guys follow us because good things are coming. Yeah, and also the... <laughs> Everyone, cleanup crews are number one. If you don't have a balanced ecosystem, you know, your coral, your water quality can be the bomb, but if you ain't got a good cleanup crew, your coral's gonna start to grow out and you're gonna start to look bad. Even in like a zero system, it's still gonna, you need your crew. So, don't say nothing. There you go, how do you say? Everybody's at the record hop, rocking at the record hop. Here's the man rocking at the record hop, 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 baby. Rock 
Once again. 